I was the guy that kept the camera mainly running, right? Which maintained the equipment, which was all owned by him. He had about 10 cameras of his own. So, you know, you adopt the job of really being service to these this gear, keep them everything running. And he's very particular about that, that end of it. 70 lenses, I think, he had nearly as well. 70 different types, which, which would fit various cameras. He wanted to get this the story onto the screen and and but do it so that it would be like the paintings of the period. And then he discovered this famous lens, a Zeiss lens with an f-stop of 0 0.7, which has of course no depth of field, but uh, it, it would give you an exposure even on 100 ASA film with just from the light source of candles. He had this relationship with NASA and how he managed to get these super fast lenses made by Zeiss. And there was an electronic shutter which stayed open for a long time to photograph deep space and stuff like that. And they, I think they went on hassle plans because they had different mounts on the back, still cameras, right? They never actually were manufactured to go in the motion picture business. So. so that was a big challenge there to get them adapted to work in film. In the Zeiss lenses, and the problem with those lenses, apart from it was a wonderful look, is you, the actors can't move. I mean, literally, two or three inches because the depth of field so tight. So really you could only use them when they're sitting at a table. But a wonderful look, a terrific look. And it, and it gave the film a whole different feel. Absolutely beautiful. It was very, very difficult to do. And if you remember when, for example, there's a scene in, in, in Barry Lyndon when somebody gets up, you, know, you, you think he has swallowed a broom because the, the, the slightest movement would get the eyes out of focus. So you have to then compose the shot so that as long as lips and eyes are sharp, everything else can disappear like a painting. And the resolution and bite of those lenses was only good at its fixed focal point, you know. Everyone else went like mush. And it's the Bokka, what they call Bokka, which I think he, he loved so much, because it's the out of focus quality of the images that weren't in focus. It's like this thing that Barry Lyndon was shot using, you know, uh, this super fast lens and, you know, with no lighting. And that's not true. There was a lot of lighting on Barry Lyndon. I mean, we used brutes and so they were banging in through the window. But people run away with this idea that the whole of that film was shot just using candles or no lighting at all. And it's, it's just not so. <laughs>